So I know that at this point we are beating a dead horse, but this just crossed my mind today. And I was like, let me just remind y'all how stupid this was. <laughs> So we all know by this point, the uh, events that led up to Daenerys' death. First of all, uh, Jon Snow walked his happy ass right past, right on past Drogon and went up uh, to see Daenerys. Remember that. And then they gave this whole, bu this whole bullshit, 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 whatever. Daenerys end up dead. So like we just skipped that shit. Daenerys end up dead. Like girl, I'm not even going to get into where the hell all the unsullied and shit word that she was over there speaking to like where the fuck it like there's just nobody was guarding the fucking queen whatever <laughs> john snow just walked his happy ass past drug on ain't no unsullied ain't no fucking dothraki y'all was respawning to dothraki anyways just re have them fucking respawn in the fucking throne room why was there absolutely nobody in the throne room guarding the the new queen of the fucking seven kingdoms <laughs> like nobody thought to, anyway anyway Jon Snow walked his happy ass up there and killed our girl. Now, here come Drogon. Now, my thing is, bitch, I don't know. Like, I know in the past, like, in the lore, I think um, dragons have been in the throne room. So, I can't even, you know what I mean? I guess. But were they as big as Drogon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was just like, I don't know how this big old motherfucking 747 Boeing, you know what I mean, is fitting in this little ass throne. Look at this little ass throne room. Look at this little ass throne room. I'm just like, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. And then, like I said, Drogon big as hell. So for this, you know, structure to support Drogon and just landing his happy ass down onto the, you know what I mean? On the pavement, girl? <laughs> On the marble? After its, its integrity is already fucked up by his fire breath. It's just not, I don't know. They Even if Drogon was going to land his ass in here, they made it, you know, seem way too easy. Like I said, it's crumbling around him. Anyway, Drogon big as hell, heavy as hell. I just didn't see how he could just fit that shit in there, especially with how big they made him look um, during the Field of Fire. I was just like, I'm not convinced. And then we got Daenerys laying down here, you know, like she done took some NyQuil. Oh, I hate Jon Snow ass so much. <laughs> oh my God, they didn't gave my sis some NyQuil. Anyway, so she's, she's right here. Drogon done found a way to get in here. And then we're just supposed to believe that that Drogon, having seen the person who's directly above his dad mama, like we are supposed to believe that Drogon found more issue with the Iron Throne. And I'm just like, y'all have not built up this telepathic connection between Ryder and Dragon to the point where um, Drogon can now understand that the Iron Throne you know, is what Daenerys was fighting for. It's just a metal, it's a seat with some spikes on it. Like, girl, Drogon don't give a fuck about that shit. Drogon was snapping, Drogon would be snapping at anything that moves. Drogon would snap at them people walking up. Remember when she, was she threatening um the Yunkai? Yes, you remember she was threatening Yunkai and she was sitting there with her dragons and Drogon was just snapping at these bitches. Drogon was snapping at the masters and shit coming to talk to her. So I'm just like, Drogon was hard as fuck to control. He was extremely rebellious. He still has that angry ass spirit within him. He's a Targaryen, babes. <laughs> so, and, and, and so, like, given all of that information that we have about Drogon's personality, I just not, I just did not see why he came down here um, ready to melt the fucking throne. And then here go Jon Snow, you know. It's just like, girl, he's sitting right here. Burn his ass up. I just, the plot armor was, was strong with that one. Anyway, so Jon Snow gonna come out afterwards and don't nobody touch him. Don't nobody, don't know Unsully jump on his ass. Don't, I mean, they, I remember when they was on that ship and fucking, um, Grey Worm was looking at him, just staring him down. No, Grey Worm would have chopped that head off. What are y'all talking about? You know, so then they talking about giving Jon Snow a goddamn, um, sequel or some shit. I'm just like, for what, girl? The Kinslayer, the King Slayer, the Queen Slayer. We don't want to see his ass. <laughs> I don't want to see his ass nowhere. I don't want to see his ass nowhere. So unless y'all bring Daenerys back, unless you go over there, um, Drogon bring her ass over there to Essos and some of them fucking red priests raise that bitch back up. If you don't have Daenerys get getting her leak back, 
get your lick back. If you if you don't have Daenerys getting her fucking lick back in the sequel, then I really do not care about this Jon Snow motherfucking show. And that's just the team. You have no right to disrespect the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms, the Mother of Dragons, the Breaker of Chains. Y'all know how it goes. Uh, you just killed the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Like, I'm telling you, it would be as if somebody just walked up into the White House and just do whatever. You know what I mean? That's how it would be. That's why I'm like, why are, Why is there no Secret Service? Why is Dunstully not here? Why Why y'all just y'all just left her ass up and nobody was guarding the door? Nothing. Y'all just let his ass walk up. And, and it's just like, girl, you're not going to convince me. You're not going to convince me. So what I'm saying is that if y'all want me to give a damn about Jon Snow, you better wake up Daenerys. Ho. And that's all I'm saying. Y'all talking about... Y'all better sign a fat check. Y'all better sign a fat check and send it to Amelia Clark. That's all I'm saying. It better be fat. It better be, I mean, and, and on the back, it better say, we're sorry for fucking up your character. We're sorry for rushing the story, even if she was going to go mad, whatever. We're sorry. We, that's what y'all need to do. Y'all need to send a very fat check, address it to Amelia Clark, go in the writer's room and wake her ass up so she can get her vengeance and then she can lay her ass down back to sleep i guess damn y'all so annoying oh y'all so annoying justice for daenerys that shit that you all y'all had drogon doing like he had like y'all anthropomorphized the hell out of his girl get his ass out of my face wake daenerys up i don't want this Jon snow sequel um unless we you're gonna put some da daenerys in it until uh, until i can taste the mm, the the Dovagetis, Axiomenta, set. You, you see what I'm saying? Until I can taste the Dracaris. You, you see what I'm saying? Until I can taste the Amelia Clark seasoning. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Un until I can taste the A Dragon is Not a Slave seasoning. Zaldrides Bustaris Costa, whatever she say, bitch. Until I hear that on my, until I see that on my screen, y'all can keep Jon Snow and his moping out of my face. That's all I got to say on that. That's all I gotta say tonight. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm just ranting at this point. I need to I need to end this video. <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching. Love y'all so much. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.